Assalamualaikum and good morning to one and all. Today we will start with the new practical that is effect of saline purgative on intestine. I am Sheikh Abu Sufyan. Welcome you to my YouTube channel Pharma Learning Forever. At the end of this e-learning session, you are able to explain mechanism of action of saline purgative, discuss the requirement and procedure, observe and interpret the result of the experiment. So let's start with the mechanism of saline purgative. So before we see the mechanism of saline purgative, we must know what do you mean by purgatives. So purgatives, these are the drug which help in evacuation of the fecal content in case of the constipation. What happened? The stool become hard and that hard stool, it stuck in, in your bowel. And since it stuck in the bowel, it is hard and it having the less water content. So due to that, the evacuation of this fecal content through normal process of defecation, it is very difficult. So you are using this category of the drug called as the laxative, purgatives and cathartics, which having increase in intensity of the action. So laxative having the mild action, purgative having more intense action as compared to the laxative and cathartics it having much more action as compared to the purgative. So in today's experiment first we will see what is the mechanism of action of saline purgative. So do remember that the saline purgative are the salts which consist of highly charged ion. So the nature it is they are salt in nature and they are having highly charged ions. Second important thing they do not crosses the cell membrane. Now since they do not crosses the cell membrane now when you take the dose of saline purgative now suppose if they are present in your intestine so now suppose here the saline purgative if they are coming and since they does not crosses the cell membrane they does not absorb into the blood circulation and they remain inside the lumen because there is no absorption of the saline purgative because nature is such that they does not crosses the cell membrane okay so they remain inside the lumen since you have given saline purgative they create an environment called as hypertonic environment where concentration of salt it is more in the lumen as compared to the concentration of the salt which is present in the cells. For example, if this is the membrane of the intestine, so this intestinal membrane it having the cells. So this cell having some amount of the salt and this salt it is present in the isotonicity. Okay. So now when there is more concentration of salt over here, what this salt will do, it will withdraw, it will withdraw water from the cell. So there is withdrawal of the water from the cell, from the cell into the lumen. Okay. And as a result of that, it retain the water through their osmotic action. Now what do you mean by osmotic action? In osmotic action, there is the movement of water from their high concentration of waters towards the lower concentration. Now since salt it is more over here so their concentration of water it is less whereas the concentration of water in the cell it is more. So the moment of water will be from the more water to the low where to the less water is there. So the water will move from cell into the lumen where more salt it is present and that there is retention of water through osmotic action. When water it is retained inside it will help in softening of the stool so stool become soft second important thing is that it will also produce increase in the lumen volume so lumen volume will increase due to withdrawal of the water or the retention of the water and it will produce distension stimulus it means your intestine it is going to stretch due to increase in water content okay and this distension stimulus will help you to give the natural call and the stimulus and patient will have the defecation and there will be the smooth passage of the fecal content from uh, the bowel. So it help in evacuation of the bowel in case of the constipation. So this is the mechanism of the saline purgative um, where it works through their osmotic action. Now let's see a few example of saline purgative. So saline purgative example are magnesium sulfate. Second example it is magnesium hydroxide. Third example it is sodium sulphate, fourth one it is potassium sodium tartarate. So many examples are there but I have put only few examples. So in this if you look at they are highly charged ions of so this first ion it is generally positive in nature. Here magnesium, 
then sodium it is positive potassium it is positive in nature whereas second uh, ion which is present it is generally negative in nature so this way it forms the salt and this salt help in um, uh, the attraction of the waters or the retention of the water at the site where saline purgatives are present okay let's see the requirement of this experiment how we can study the action of the saline purgative on the intestine so the requirement of in experiment including first one it is animal so to study this an experiment you can use uh, animal like frog rat or cock so you can use the intestine of either frog rat or the cock so for cock you can even brought in the, uh, you can bring intestine from the slaughterhouse uh, from the hen uh, hen ileum you can brought and on in that ileum or the smooth muscle tissue also you can perform the experiment okay second thing it is the reagent it, it is needed so since uh, saline purgative you have studied saline purgative or hypertonic in nature so we will be comparing the effect of the saline purgative which are hypertonic in nature with hypotonic solution and isotonic solution okay so we need hypotonic solution so we can use either 0.45% of nacl or if you use simple distilled water that can also act as a hypotonic solution so hypotonic means it having the less concentration of the salt as compared to the concentration of the salt which is present in the cell then you can use hypertonic solution so we have used simply saline purgative we have used 27% of the magnesium sulfate which is hypertonic in nature so you can see here percentage of, of magnesium sulfate it is more so now it create the condition of hypertonic solution okay where concentration of salt it is present more as compared to the concentration of salt present in the cell okay you can also use isotonic solution isotonic it is either you can use ringer solution or you can use 0.9% of the NaCl so isotonic means the concentration of the salt it is same as it is present in the cell so concentration of the salt in the cell as well as the lumen it is same okay so these are the reagent are needed to perform this experiment so that you can uh, able to study the comparative effect of hypotonic solution hypertonic solution and isotonic solution on the intestine and you can easily recognize mechanism of action by which saline purgative which is nothing but hypertonic solution it works okay so these are the reagent you need instrument like you need the cock board you need pithing needles you need dissecting instrument if, uh, if you are doing the dissection of the frog the needle with thread it is needed specially to put the knot and tubercular syringe with needle it is needed to inject hypertonic hypotonic and isotonic solution into the different compartment of intestine that you are going to make okay so this is the requirement of the experiment let's see the procedure of the experiment so now you assume that you have brought intestine so in this experiment whatever video i have taken those video it is of the intest cock intestine or the cock uh, small intestine okay it was brought from uh, the slaughterhouse so first thing is that you have to isolate small intestine so if you are using frog then you need to sacrifice the frog you need to open abdominal cavity and you need to remove their intestine okay so uh, first thing it, you have isolated the small intestine after isolation of the small intestine now you can make the small intestine into a three compartment by tying the thread in a such a way that no fluid can move that is very important so now if you are taking uh, the intestine and you can select intestine of the same size and on the both the end you can put the knot so that there is no movement of the fluid from this end and also at this end so let's see how we can do so i have i am showing you a simple video of that okay so you can see this video i have taken uh, intestine and with the help of thread we are just putting the knot so that we can make the compartment so you need to put knot on the both the end of the intestine so this is the first knot has been given okay then i am putting the second knot once it is done you can give cut at this end so that your first compartment it is ready likewise you can make two more compartment of the small intestine it means you are just simply making the pouch of the intestine where you can inject uh, your hypertonic isotonic and hypotonic solution so uh, this is first thing that you need to make the small intestine into three compartment 
by simply tying the thread in a such a way that no fluid can move okay now going ahead now you need to inject this reagent so you can inject 0.2 ml each hypotonic solution into first compartment then 0.2 ml of hypertonic solution into second compartment and 0.2 ml of isotonic solution into third compartment so that you can study their effect i have now taken the hypotonic solution now i am injecting this hypotonic solution into the compartment likewise you can inject hypertonic solution into the hypertonic compartment that is second one and isotonic solution into third compartment okay so we have uh, you assume that now we have injected this 0.2 ml each hypotonic solution to first compartment then 0.2 ml of hypotonic solution in second and 0.2 ml of isotonic solution into third compartment now once it is done after this you need to wait for 20 minute and then you can record the observation okay so after waiting for 20 minutes then you can simply see there is swelling in hypertonic solution wherever you have injected hypertonic solution there is swelling whereas in case of isotonic solution it there is no swelling or no shrinkage so it remains as such whereas this third one that is hypotonic solution if you just compare their size it shrink so you can see here size is more it's here size that is normal whereas here these intestinal compartment it shrink little bit so their size it is reduced so now why, why it's happened and how we are going to record this observation so this is the summary observation so when we have studied that in case of hypertonic solution where we have injected 0.2 ml of 27 percent of magnesium sulfate so we have observed that uh, the compartment was swell so it was swollen right isotonic solution where we have injected 0.2 ml of 0.9 percent of saline there was no change so whatever size was there earlier when you have injected it remains same whereas in case of hypotonic solution we have where you have injected 0.2 ml of the distilled water you have seen that the size it is reduced it means the tissue was shrink okay so the, the shrunken tissue was observed so this is the observation table now why it happened and let's see how we can write the conclusion so first thing why there is swelling in case of hypertonic solution so as i have mentioned hypertonic solution means what the concentration of salt suppose if this is the cell membrane and here you have put the hypertonic solution so hypertonic solution it is nothing but your saline purgative so they are hypertonic in nature and what is their nature they cannot cross the cell membrane since they cannot cross the cell membrane now here only possibility to maintain the tonicity is that there must be movement of water from uh, the uh, from the cell into the lumen because here concentration of salt it is more whereas in case of the cell concentration of salt it is less so water will move from the from uh, from your uh, the cell of the intestine into the lumen so there will be the movement of the water over here by the process of the osmosis and since water it is move into the lumen now if earlier if lumen size it is this much when you have injected after 20 minutes you can see there is increase in the lumen size so this increase in the lumen size it is due to retention of the water and what this water will do this water will help in evacuation of the ficus, ficus it will help in softening your stool and proper and easy defecation in case of patients suffering from the constipation so this is how hypertonic solution of the salt or the saline purgative it help in retention of the water it provide distension stimulus by the swelling and it help in evacuation of the stool from the bowel okay now in case of high second solution that we have used it was isotonic solution now why the cell size was same so what was the observation in case of isotonic solution it did not show any movement of the fluid across the intestinal membrane okay why it happened because number of salts you have used isotonic solution of that is 0.19 percent of the nacl since you have used 0.9 percent of the nacl the same salt concentration it is also present in a cell since same salt concentration it is present in a cell there is no movement of the water so or there is same movement of the water across the membrane means here say uh, from cell to lumen there will be same amount of water will move 
and also the same amount of water will move from lumen to the cells or there will be no movement. As a result of that, when you are given injection of 0.9% of the NaCl and when you observe after 20 minutes, you have seen same size of the intestine. So there is no change because there is no movement of the fluid across the intestinal membrane. Okay. So this is in case of isotonic solution. So I am writing it is I. This is in case of hypertonic solution. So I am writing as a I uh, hype. Okay. So that is the hypertonic. Whereas in case of third solution, that is hypotonic solution, it causes fluid to move from lumen into the circulation by process of osmosis, which lead to the shrinkage of the tissue. So now suppose if this is the tissue and here you have put the hypotonic solution. So hypotonic solution means less salt concentration. Now since salt concentration, it is more inside the cell. So water will move from here or your lumen to the cells. As a result of that, if the water, if this is the original size of your tissue, after 20 minutes due to movement of the water, the size will reduce. So there will be the shrinkage of that particular cell. Okay. So this is the logic why hypertonic solution can help in case of the constipation and it how it can withdraw the water through the process of osmosis and it help in uh, evacuation of the feces from the bowel. Okay. So I have done with these practicals. I have referred Dr. Manjunath P. Mudgal and T. Hari Babu, a practical book of Pharmacology 3 from Nirali Prakashan. I must thanks to the, this author for providing wonderful information on these experiments. So thanks for watching my session. For more such learning, subscribe to my channel.